Extra Minutes. What is wrong with William's heart? So with William, one side of his heart hasn't formed properly. And it's a bit smaller than normal, which means that we can't use both sides of the heart to support the lungs and the body at the same time, which is what happens in your eye. So he's going to have a series of operations. He's had two of the three operations already to take him through to something called the Fontan operation or the Fontan circulation. And what that does then is it, it bypasses the, the blood going to the lungs, bypasses the heart completely. And the blood just goes into the lungs passively. And we use the heart to pump the blood around the body. His parents, Zoe and David, were advised at, at the 20-week scan mm. that they shouldn't go ahead with the pregnancy, mm. that, that he wouldn't survive or that his life would be so restricted that it wasn't worth living. It's a very tricky decision to make and um, it depends on who's counselling, what information the families receive at the time of the diagnosis. But for hyperplastic left heart syndrome, the results for this operation have improved vastly over the past 10 years alone. So when we first started doing this operation, the, the survival rate was about 50%. Now we have survival rates of close to 85-90%. So they made the right decision then? It's the right decision for them. I'm not certain that it's the right decision for every family. Will William ever have a normal heart? It won't be completely normal. It'll never be completely normal. How, how long do you expect William's life to be? It's difficult to know exactly how long the, the, uh, the patients will survive till. Um, I think our understanding is that their life expectancy won't be completely normal. But things change, you know, medicine progresses and how we're able to treat these kids is changing all the time. Are you still surprised, amazed at the strength of the little bodies you're taking care of, that these tiny little people are being yeah. operated on yeah. and fighting so hard for life? Kids are incredible and that's probably a major reason why so many of us go into paediatrics. Um, kids, their resilience is, in, is always impressive their ability to recover and get going again is completely different to adults. And that's part of the reason that it's so rewarding to look after children. As soon as they're well, they're out of bed. They're running around the, the unit and it's great fun for us to see that, but it's also very rewarding to see that we can hopefully make a difference. It must be devastating when the news is bad. Yeah, that's very sad. And we, we, we obviously have to deal with that every now and again. Um, thankfully, it's more often good news than bad news. So when William's acting like any other 18-month-old child, mm. <laughs> yelling at you and screaming, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that's a good sign. It's the way they are. It's normal. If he wasn't doing that, I would think it was a bit unusual. And this age is uh, what we, that's how we expect them to be. Things are going well. well. Yeah, and when you did your check-up with him today, mm. what was the, the result? Uh, things are looking good. Um, his heart is working well, he's, he's tracking as we would expect him to do at this age.